All right, we have the Sony Via Home Theater PC, our very own Joel Santo Domingo. He's the lead anal analyst of desktops for PCMag.com and the print magazine as well. And he's here. He's not here, he's actually. We have him on video, and he's going to take a quick look at the Sony Via Home Theater PC, the VGXTP25E. What a name. You have to call it like Simon or something. Simon. Simon. We're going to take a look at Simon. Here, let's take a look at the video. Hi, this is Joel Santo Domingo, lead analyst, desktops, PC Magazine Labs, here with the Sony Vio VGX TP25E. The TP25E is a digital entertainment system. It can sit in your home theater cabinet next to your HDTV. It's got a Core 2 Duo T8100 Penryn processor, 4 gigs of memory, and a 500 gig hard drive. With the TP25E, you can sit in your couch with a wireless keyboard and mouse, surf, watch Blu-ray movies, or store all your photos, videos, and music on the 500 gig hard drive. The system has an HDMI port on the back, which means you only have to hook up one cable to your HDTV. There are a couple of drawbacks. There's no internal expansion. The TV tuners are external and huge, and there are only two USB ports. On the plus side, there is a FireWire port and a digital media card reader for your camera or for your video cam. The system is very energy efficient, using only about 30 to 50 watts of power. That's less than a light bulb. The Sony TP25E is one of the best PCs in town for home theater use. It is a bit pricey at $3,000. I gave it 4 out of 5 stars and an Editor's Choice Award. It would have gotten a higher score if it was a little bit less expensive or if the tuners were internal. Check out my review on PCMag.com. Yeah, that thing looks pretty sweet. I find that Sony products typically have a, a premium associated with them, but they usually put the engineering and the work into the internals and the guts of their products to make them not only pretty stable, but I think just easier to use for the general consumer. Yeah. I like that. And the dual tuner thing's pretty cool. I'm wondering if they'll be able to offer cable card support for that particular model. That's really, I, I mean, external tuners are cool and all for over the air reception, but I think more people would want that cable card technology. I think technology. they actually have the cable cards in oh. the external tuners and that's why they're so big and, and, okay. and external. I was actually reading the report, which is great. You can go to PCMag.com and check it out, but uh, the less expensive models of that have internal tuners that don't come with the cable card. Right. But the external ones do come with the cable card and I really think that Sony got the style right on that. You know, the sort of small circular thing sort of reminds me of an Apple-esque design, which it's looks nice. good. The other thing that Joel didn't really get into in the review, um, in the video review anyways, was its wireless capabilities. And it comes with wireless 802.11.b um, and G, but it's okay. not N, so it's not N, yeah, it's probably the next model. I mean, it's still, it says wireless everything, wireless keyboard and mouse. I think fast enough. It's probably pretty people, good, but, but one of the things I really liked about it too was the energy efficiency. I always said, you know, at any time, it gives about 30 to 50 watts, which is you know less than any light bulb in oh, your while house. it's running. While it's running, That's yeah, they said really they maxed good. it out at 50 watts. Really? Yeah, which I'm I impressed. think is pretty cool. And the Blu-ray drive, although he didn't like the sort of you know old school push drive that was in it, uh, it does record and play CDs and DVDs too, both. So awesome. I mean, it's an all-in-one. It's a great, it's a great little yep. media center. If you don't want to take the risk of trying to build something like that yourself, yeah. there's an option for you. Very, very cool. Mm -hmm.